Hello and welcome to the 1987 Legends here at Old Bumpy Daytona. I just got out of a somewhat frustrating dirt street stocks race, so naturally the next best thing to do is enter a potentially frustrating super speedway race, right? <laughs> now, super speedways are much better in the 87 cars, of course, so... I think this will be pretty fun, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised we are the number five, even though there were just about 30 plus people signed up, so maybe around 40. Uh, I thought I was going to be the number one for sure, but we have some high I rating guys in here, so that's pretty neat. Uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, so I think it's split about just once. Green flag, if I had green to guess, okay, here comes your bird got like, I don't know, 17 people in here or something. But we'll go ahead and get some qualifying done. So we are just gonna run up in the front for the whole time, probably. Well, I'll try to anyway. Because uh, that's just the way I, I've chosen to do super speedway racing from now on. No waiting in the back. Because far too often a wreck or almost wreck happens that causes checkups, and then you never actually get a caution, and then you're out of the race. <laughs> so, just, uh, see what we can do from the start. First lap, got a 44.3. Not sure if the second lap's gonna be faster or not. You would think, well, second lap you're gonna be up to speed, right? But, you know, tires actually matter in the 87s at Daytona. So maybe, uh, we might scrub off bit too much here in turns three and four and it might not actually be a better lap. We'll find out here in about three, two, one, and it looks like we had a better lap the second time. So maybe the play was take it easier the first lap, then get up to speed, but I'm not too concerned about it. Usually not very many people choose to qualify at all for super speedways. We'll see if that's the case here. Looks like we'll be P2 for now. Only four people are listed at the moment, so who knows where I'm going to end up. But We'll practice a... Uh-oh. It's uh, Jesse over there losing connection. I know he's one of the guys that's, that has higher eye rating than me, I'm pretty sure. If not the one, the number one, probably pretty close. But I'm gonna do one more lap here and then practice green flag pit stops because I'm pretty sure you have to take one uh, if this thing goes green. So I'm gonna have to be ready for that. I think I got it down, but I want to give it a try anyway. It's a good way to cap off the Q session anyway. Basically, the way I do it, wait until I'm straight and hit the brakes. So, there. Look out for the pit speed that usually works pretty good. Pretty close. I might want to back it up a little bit during the race because uh, worn tires might make it a little harder to get it slowed down. Not sure. Then again, I might be going slower on track, so maybe it'll even out. But don't want to speed, so might back it up. Doesn't it seem like he's like really tall? I don't know. Like we're like at his knee level. Should we really be that far low down? Maybe it's correct, but something seems weird about like either he's really tall or these are shorter cars than I thought they were. I don't know. Are you tall? Oh, we're about to start though. So looks like we're <laughs> poor people qualified. Um, looks like we are P two. That's the end of the session. Yeah, Jesse's P2. not back in yet. 
Yikes. Hopefully he's able to get back in. Hate to see that to anyone. Or happen to anyone, I mean. A couple names I'm a little scared of in here, but... Whatever. Gotta <laughs> enter this. With tempered expectations. We'll do session best lab. Oh, there he is. He might also just be doing the thing where you start in the back. I think there's a way you can make it appear like you're not doing that. Even though you are. Because there's people trying to get around potentially being protested for it. I think there's a way you can disconnect and have the appearance that you lost connection. Not accusing him of doing that. Not that I care anyway. But I think that is a thing. I think I remember hearing about that. It's whatever. <laughs> I Like I said, I don't care. Um, two sets of tires. Those do matter. Which is kind of cool. And we'll see what we can do. Unfortunately, while I was practicing, I didn't get as much time as I would have liked in the draft. So that makes the car behave a little bit differently. And I like to kind of get my feet under me with that kind of deal before heading out, but I know what to expect. I've done this before. Hoping that I'll be in front of any potential wrecks. We'll see. Starting in our least favorite spot, P2. Feels like it happens a lot. It feels like I say it happens a lot because it probably happens a lot. <laughs> You have two. All right, we're getting going here. Smooth, I like it. Looks like we have ourselves a good race here today in Daytona. That guy has chosen to forego the pace car and go on his own. Stay behind the pace car. Pace car. The Once you go, car. next time by, line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. <laughs> So, looks like it's going to be a... Hmm. Yes, second gear start. Interesting. Alright. It does indeed look like we will need fuel. Hopefully we get green flag pit stops. I enjoy that a lot. But if not, that's okay too, I guess. As long as I'm not in the wreck that causes the yellow. Checking crew chief. Looks like they are ready to tell me things like when the, when the pit window is open. If I need to know about that. And hopefully we don't get a bunch of cautions because one of those tracks it takes a while to get around. Hi, game. What up, buddy? About to go green. Stay focused. We have a pair of James friends, apparently. But we are about to get going. Ready, the pace car is green. in. Go, go, green go. flag, green flag. Keep road Can't beat the leader of the line. Still there, hold your line. Still inside. Alright. Hang on, so far so good. Stay high. Mm, guy coming up quick behind us. Guy scared me down there. What now? Inside, too wide. The next car's the leader. Keep high. <laughs> You're now in the lead. Don't want to hear that. Stay high. That's really nice. Stay high to the car on the low side. Thank you for jumping out of the gas. 
That was scary for you, I'm sure as it was for me. Still there at the bottom. Wish we weren't too wide, but is what it is. Clear inside. All right, we got ourselves a push, which will put us P1 for about three seconds, I'm sure, until they zoom around me. Okay, you are the leader. The guy behind has just done a 43.9. And be careful, because you will make me arrow loose being back there. Ready to catch it. Twelve, interesting. So it looks like he's content with pushing me, I like that. You're in the lead. I'm confident I will be able to hold it. Hey Davy, my mom says hi. Uh that guy's mom says hi to Davy, I guess. Uh, are you kind of all friends or something? What's she make for dinner? Inside. Three wants the lead. I really don't care. I mean, if you want to do it, do it though. So you're just wasting our time if you're going to do that. Get bump drafted. Don't mind being up here. Don't have to dodge a wreck if you're in front of everybody. You can become the wreck still. You don't have to dodge it. You just will be it. So I'm probably killing my tires. Don't know anything about saving tires out here. Why am I in the middle three wide? Why are you doing this to me? I almost died. Why do you even do that? Death wish, I guess, but here we are behind the pace car. Don't know why the pace car is swerving. Nine gallons. Too early for fuel. Just gonna stay out here, probably. Not sure what happened back there. Saw one guy leave, though. Sorry, Eleven. I'm Somebody else gonna go in? After six laps. How many got collected on that? Anybody know? Oh, you got takers. Interesting. I'm going to say a lot of people, considering it was up in front of the path. Well darn field, man. Sounds about right to me. 8.5 gallons. Hmm. Someone put themselves in the wall when they came back down the track. Seems a little early to me, but I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. If they want to fly past us, I'll just let them by. Just hope they're reasonably patient about it, but considering I was three wide just about a lap ago, I highly doubt that.
I only got two sets of tires, so. I don't want to take them this early. I don't have to. Well, given how many people are sitting. 8.7 gallons. Where's the pace car at? Middle three and four. Thank you. Do, do internet's been uh, been behaving got one or two little blips during practice but that's about it one to go Nick we get the lovely on. single file so nice. Very much enjoy a single file. Letter 19 carbine. Pasta 19 car. Sure where that guy's supposed to be. It just said let him buy oh, and that was a list. I tried to pick the base car out. Oh, uh, it's because he left. He left pit road late. That's why it got weird. What is the uh, pace speed? It looks like we're about 80 miles an hour. That sounds good to me. I'll be able to get going here. Lead the field. Not that it matters too much. They'll catch my draft. Pretty quickly. Come on, Bob. I gotta look at my car by me. Stay here. Get ready. I gotta let everybody buy. Yes, so do I. Ice car is off. Be ready. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Green flag. Green. Back going green. We'll see how fast the fasties are. But appear very fast. Car outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low. Keep low. Still there. Just hold on for a little bit. Clear outside if you want to. It's like we are being passed. Still there inside. Really want to lead early laps, I guess. Or wreck each other early on. Caution, yellow flash. They want you in single file. Pete Rhodes is closed right now. That's close. Do any of y'all know how to slow down? Like, what are y'all doing? That was close. Oh my god. I don't know if that could have been closer. Oh my god. Oh! Breathe, breathe, breathe. Where'd the six go? Six is in it, I thought. It's not. Let's go, Mario. Let's -a go. Okay. It's past us, I guess. Or something. Eleven. Yeah. And then we pass the eleven. <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know Catch how this stacked up necessarily, but eight, we're good now, I guess. Now open. Seven point nine gallons. Four course yellow. Pits are open. Okay, Charles, you do know you have to look the corner, right? Just in case you didn't know that. How many people were on that one? Well, considering I just got turned out of the lead by the whole field. Well, that's good news for me. He's upset. <laughs> 7.9 gallons. I think we might be able to make it to the end on fuel now. Catch the paid car. The leader, Sox, is pitting. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 60 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. 10. 10. 5. 3. 2. 1. Right here. Oh, what is it with drive it in this thing? Probably got some people taken too, if I had to guess. Looks like a lot of people. Okay, go! You only have one tire set remaining. They want you in single file. Catch the 11. Well, still have pretty good tires, but... Got one more than some people, I think, now. Two point two gallons. Two point two gallons. Might be able to save that. So we will try. Back stretch three and four now. Pits are open. That looks really weird. The 11 on the, like, Jeff Gordon DuPont. <laughs> that looks really weird. It's <laughs> funny. 2.3 gallons. So we might be able to save enough now. Close enough that I wanted to come in. One left to green. You're on the outside. Okay, we got four tires. Felt like there's enough race left that I want to do that. Plus, it already gets kind of scary, loose at times when you're in the full draft. So we'll sacrifice a couple spots from people taking two tires to take four. We're in seventh still. Not sure if they're gonna wreck some more, but. Eight gallons. I did down to 1.8. Yeah, you can really, you can really save fuel in this car because it it rolls so freely. You put the clutch in, so I'm not so sure the people that didn't pit are gonna make it to the end. So they gotta hope that a caution comes out. Cause uh, if we're this close, they've gotta be pretty darn close too, or you know. They're not gonna make it. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna hug the apron as much as I can, and then just let you guys know. Okay. I'll start in third. Get ready, going green. So let's close this up. I'm gonna be able to see too well, but should be all right. Pace car is off. Green flag, green flag. flag. Alright, wait until green. The yellow flag is out. What happened? Already? Pit road is right now. That's gonna help our uh, fuel situation a lot. I think we're definitely gonna make it now. Pace car's out. Line up single file behind car number. Where's the clay baby star? Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Catch 
five gallons. What happened? Oh, Jesse lost connection I if he wasn't already. I was on the inside of the 14. I can pass them on the inside to pass the start finish line, and I didn't realize Brandon was behind me and he got in. If he wasn't already that damaged was a and out. That's a way to put it, Shane. I, I ran you this slap over there. I, I didn't think about that guy on the outside there. Yeah, that whole top side, they slowed right down, so I was trying to time it, but I wasn't quite there yet, so I tried to... I, I don't even see it, so that was part of the problem. It's our open. Well, I'd just like to say it's nice to see people respectful about it for a change on there. Usually it becomes a shouting match, like an old married couple. So good on both of you. One point, one gallons. I think we should be good on fuel now. If you weren't already. Definitely didn't use the tires either. That's for sure. Pit window open. Pit window open. I think we're fine. Car 14, got the lucky dog, let them pass on the outside. Thank you. I've been taking their time and going around, but I guess we're no in no hurry anyway. Zero point eight gallons. So if this goes green to the end, we're in a really good spot. Of course, maybe other people can, maybe everybody can reach the end, but we got uh, tires, very fresh tires still. So we're in a good position there. A pretty decent track position here in seventh. How many total were there in, in here? It looks like 19. 19 people total. Now they're, oh, how cute. now they're fighting over <laughs> whose fault it was. That's funny. Pits are open. No, it was my fault. <laughs> Exchange insurance information. Now we're settling this with a good handshake and a hug. Settle, settle with the thing called a 45. Just beat the shit out of each other for 45 seconds. And after 45 seconds, be done with it. <laughs> We're pulling into getting us some breakfast or something. Shane's a nice guy. I'm sorry, Shane. They're going to Waffle House. One left to green. I think that calls for a beer shortage after the race. Zero point three. Because Coors Light is the right beer down. <laughs> So that uh, 14 got his lap back. Good for him. Don't know if he's on the lead lap yet. I don't think he is. I'll forget the rest of it. Be close though. Dang it, Patriot. Three gallons. I remember the other one, kind of. Make it yours. Make it cool. Man, there's really not too many people left. Lots of people caught in those wrecks. Who's that in the big car up ahead? Can you do me a favor and uh, cross up my 15th place and or the the five and the 15th place spot for me and take it to a one thing? Yeah, man. <laughs> They took their time getting up here. That car's go to the inside, of course. Sorry about that, man. Go on, man. Are we going green again? The pace car is in. Green, 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 green. Looks that way.
in a bit. Car inside. Clear inside. It's gonna be a little bit patient. Don't need to fly ahead of everybody all at once. Team a little bit off pace, maybe. Still there at the bottom. Car in front of us is Jones. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear inside. V6. Okay. Everyone's being pretty good, staying single file. It's a good idea to do for a while. Just worried about people behind me not getting the memo. From behind, for some reason. Like that stop, please. Inside. They want to go now, even though we're just trying to. Ah! Okay. Still there. Still inside. The next car. Outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Car outside. Caution yet. Two wide. If ever. Good suit, man. P7. Hey, I'll yeah. push cold on. Jesus. <sighs> not sure if I have any damage. I'm not even completely sure what happened there. Saw the guy below me getting loose, and I was really worried about giving as much room as possible because I thought he was going to overcorrect. <sighs> Dicks in the wall. Outside. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. High. Let's work with the nine, try to catch back up to him. Be back on the leader. I'm gonna go around this guy if he's gonna be that slow. If you guys get a run to the inside, take it. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. You're in here. That was a 44.8. Alright, let's try to catch the back to the leaders. We'll see what happens. Thinks I got a 4x from that. I don't think I got any meaningful damage at least.
just driving. Hoping we can catch back up. They look like they're pretty organized up there, though. Sure, I hold on to this thing because it can get loose at a moment's notice. Especially with a little bit of extra speed, so. like we're catching up, potentially. And maybe here and there. Zero point two gallons. I think we're good on fuel. We're halfway in the race. Halfway in the race. Oh, it's a balancing act. That's why this is actually kind of fun compared to regular super speedway racing. Actually, got to hold on to it a little bit. Just, I really don't want to get loose here. Whew. And we're not quite gaining anymore. Hey, you got a mic? Gripping the wheel really hard. Really don't want to make a mistake. That would be not only very bad, pretty embarrassing too. I'm trying to lead this pack back to one. Just done a Making a mistake. Imagine uh, if we're not making progress, he's going to push even harder to try to make it happen. A little bit of looseness I was feeling for a moment. Well, I just kind of came back. <laughs> I was going to say, feeling okay for a minute, but it's not seemed to be the truth.
really becoming a handful. Where did our help go? I thought we had a longer line of people behind us than that. Trying to get session last lap up. You've just done a 44.3. I got one finger to do that. Inside. Who's playing the fuel mileage game right now? Stay high with the car on the low side. Okay, everybody can make it. Still there. Clear. Not a game. Zero point one gallons. Sixth place. Last All right. We we'll follow him for a little bit then. Should have just enough fuel to the end. <laughs> Just enough fuel to the end, it says. Finally, session last lap. Yeah, I gotta kill this big ass spider. on the nose, it makes it tighter. This ain't car's hauling ass. That's one way to get me to move, I guess. Still losing. Come back here now. The guys up front. Y'all want your lap back, don't you? Hmm. Yeah, we're losing to fourth up there. Trying my best, man. I mean, I'm full throttle. a little bit there. I guess you really don't want your left back, do you? What's this guy talking about? <laughs> I, I, I hate this. He's, I don't know. He's talking about, we got a little bit of help behind us. I like or that. Catch up with the rest of the pack. Whichever comes first. first. Well, the big car sure shit ain't. He was more concerned with bumping me uh, through the tri oval than uh, catching up with you guys, but I guess he's really happy with where he is right now. Alright, we're, we're gaining a little bit now. 4.3. As for you, uh. Uh, the A car has requested respectfully to stop telling him how to race. Say that again, too. I said the egg car has requested respectfully to stop telling him how to race. V6. I could kind of hear you the first time, but thank you for stopping and saying each word each time. And you can pass the word on to the eight. I will let him know what is in his best interest so we can all get along smoothly. Thank you very much. Last lap was a Roger. 
Oh boy, we're catching a little bit now. It's fairly slow, but catching. I imagine they're going to be more side by side as this thing winds down too, so maybe we'll uh, be able to catch a little bit faster when that starts happening. Stop turning. Ah, shoot. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. me helping anymore. It's hurting us a little bit, I think. Plus, I've just... I've been getting tight. you're not pushing him. Uh, well, you can tell the eight. Uh, part of the reason why is because he's nowhere near me. And he decided to run away on, on me instead of uh, let me catch up so I could do this that. Hmm. Was that 44 points? The eight has said he tried to let me catch up and didn't realize <laughs> Why are they doing close. this telephone game? Uh, we'll tell the eight, uh, one, number one, why he can't speak on his Maybe, behalf. I don't know how these uh, lap so cars are going to affect two. what we're doing, uh, uh, but... I hope we catch him at a good spot. His chat privileges have been revoked for the time being. Question number two. If he has a mirror, why the hell isn't he using it? If he knew I was there, I can help him out some. Uh, answer number two, his mirror privileges have been revoked. Uh, well, in that case, uh, I feel bad for him. I'll say hi. Outside. Guess I'll hi here. Outside is clear. I'm out again. Just say it. Just do it. Oh, they're forever away now. Just keep a straight down the street of those 15, I'll push you. A little scared of that. A little bit of a noob. I won't hit you hard, don't worry. Well, we just have to hope they wreck up there now, I guess. Although, I mean, I, I am in sixth. That's not bad. Hang on, did I get you right? Did you say he's, uh, just done a cat? What happened with that? Uh, I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I thought you were the intermediary. I'm about to mute them, man. I think it's part of a chat map team. Stranger things have happened. Oh, the car's so tight now. You'll 
need to take care of the tire. Inside. Still inside. Tires are shot, man. Still inside. Clear inside. Seventh position. The lap time was at forty four point six. My tires are so dead. Oh. It's fine, you got loads. I just check and make sure we're gonna make it to the end on fuel. Still good there. I believe it would end under caution now if it finished if in a wreck, so. If someone wrecks, I, I, I hope it's the guys ahead at least. This car's not turning at all anymore. Windshield's dirty. We need to get the uh, sweeper out from the back seat and start wiping it off. These Daytona bugs hitting the windshield. At this point, I just don't want my wreck front to hit zero. Uh-oh. They've decided to stop working together and start beating into each other ahead. Okay, Colton, the next car is not turning all in again. I might have just blown a tire. Don't give me the meatball. I thought I was okay until the end. Time was 45.9. The car is too much damage. We've got to fix for repairs. I thought we'd be okay because after the first stop, you got about five laps of fuel left. Only had 90. Are you kidding me? Why does this always happen to me in this car? The gap is ahead is increasing. It's now 4.9 seconds. White flag. Are you kidding me? Well, it'll put us at the end of the lap. If we don't pick. Just two that, I guess. It really couldn't have just held on like two more laps. I didn't expect this to be the way that Daytona disappointed me. I thought we were okay to the end. Even though we got that message, I figured there's no way we'll scrub off the rest of it. Great. The Not P7. Right, That's not where we finished. Nice run. Solid work. Let's see where we actually end up. Wow. That's pretty stupid. Good race, guys. That was fun.
So I think when that timer runs down, it'll tell us where we actually finished, because it'll apply the uh, penalties and such. Just speed limit in the pits. Or maybe it'll just have to be on the other screen. Pit box in. Ten. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. I can't even. Okay, punch Make it. the pit stop. <sighs> I thought it would... Tell us the tires here, but I guess not. Where'd we actually finish? Is it not gonna tell us right here? 043, gross. I, so I guess I'm gonna end up in 10th after that applies. I guess it'll just tell me on the results screen. Unless I'm wrong, I don't know. But, oh well, it'll just be a couple spots. Anyway, we'll take a look at uh, what happened. As usual, I get stuck behind a wreck that's not a wreck, and I lose the front pack, as happens way too often, even when I try to avoid it. So, lap one, 18 blinks. Some car on the wall. Sixteens in the wall. And wrecking. That's a lot of people. Yikes. 16 causes that one by getting in the wall. This is why I tried to be up front, to be in front of everything. That collects a whole bunch. <laughs> the 18 was right where they needed to be. So only a couple big hits there, except the 19 just got his biggest hit while trying to catch up to the field. That's a little embarrassing. So, it looks like the three gets the one arrow loose coming up behind him. He was complaining at them, but that's his fault. I mean, he got loose in the first place. I mean, the three's being way too aggressive, also. It's just the three was trying to do a hero move, and the one happened to get loose at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and call that on the three, though, being way too aggressive. Like, we were happily just driving in a line until then, and then he, like, flies up past me the lap before. Let's see how close this was to me getting in it, because I know it was pretty darn close. Oh, there, there it starts, I see it, and I'm like, there's no way I'm getting around this. I have to hit the brakes and turn left. Oh my gosh. I have to, like, lean against the 11 to get through. <laughs> I had to really thread that needle, and then I knew the 11 was getting loose down there. Wow. Why did he get his spots back? Who's in the wreck? Gets his spots back from that? Alright. And then... That's what happened on that quick caution. Accordion effect, and then I'm not sure what this was. It's weird. I guess the 
18 tries to jump the start. Yeah, and then can't get around his outside, and then it causes a checkup. So I'm going to blame anyone for that. I think it's going to be partly on the 17 for not being caught up to the field in the first place. Like, why are you all this way back? Partly on the 18. Although I kind of understand his frustration. It's like, why are you not caught up? So he tries to go around him because he's just not catching up to the field. But he can't get around the outside, and that causes a checkup effect. And the six isn't able to check up in time. Interesting. Apparently these six and eighteen are still fine though, because they uh, finished ahead of me. In the wall. Yeah, it's showing me like this is my fault. Yeah, I knew I had to. I saw him like swerving down there. I thought he was gonna overcorrect and absolutely murder me. And so I, I tried to get as close to the wall as possible. I ended up hitting the wall. But I figured wall hits better than getting absolutely destroyed. So I come up here, and it's still not enough. He still comes up and gets me. Thankfully, I'm able to course correct. But what ends up happening back here? Eleven gets a turn, and then the eight unfortunately gets clipped. That's really just the eleven and the eight, and that's why there was no caution for it. But then, of course, we lose draft and that's that this is the rest of the race we're just trying to catch back up and don't and I kill my t tires trying to go as fast as possible did this fix itself yet no I don't know maybe I did finish seventh maybe I don't know let me have it I have no idea <laughs> maybe these guys blew the tires too who knows Interesting. This guy loops it on his own on lap 28. He's not even in the draft. He just dies and loses his top 10. No caution for that either. And then we're gonna get a bunch of tires hitting critical points. So how come his tire hit a critical point before me? And yet I still am the one that blows the tire, huh? Got lap car. <laughs> Excuse me. These are all just tires. This one's looking to hit the wall though, maybe? Nope. Bleeders. Tires. Don't think there's going to be anything till the end. Yeah, my tire is about to blow at this point. They had to be close, if I blew a tire. Maybe that's it, maybe they really did blow tires too, so I am. So it did technically put me to the back of the lap I was on, except those guys also had that happen to them. <laughs> maybe that's why it didn't fix itself. Or like I said, maybe it'll fix itself. Uh, 
after. I'll like put it in the description or something if I uh, ended up in a different spot. Just leaders being leaders. A lot of nothing. There's my tire finally blowing. Sending me up on the wall. It just it doesn't turn anymore at that point when you blow the tire. Getting draft from the lap car. Didn't really do much for him. Okay, losing a tire. That was interesting. And then I guess we'll watch the finish. So this is the last lap, heading through the last corners, they're side by side. Or my bad, that was one and two. It looked identical to me. Interesting, decided against the three wide, knew it wasn't going to work I guess. Ooh, close, they're close to one another. Guy on the tops get the run off. Oh, he takes it low but gets loose. I don't think it would have mattered anyway. Four gets the win. Saves it. And that's how it ended. And these guys know each other and they're just messing around. Like some guys other just messing around still, so that's it. Um, we'll see. I might have finished seventh, might not have. Like I said, I'll put the actual spot I finished in the description. But um, yeah, I had the 4x from that second incident that I was in. First one, I barely dodged. Second one, I was kind of in it. And then we lost the draft. But if I finish seventh, I'm okay with that. Pretty good. Um, would have liked to not blow my tire and maybe finish a spot ahead, maybe, but that was all right. Could have been worse. Uh, number five car finish in seventh, so thanks for watching. That'll do it for 87s at Daytona. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.